This video will serve as a brief introduction to Boyle's Law. Boyle's Law has tremendous application. Here's a couple of my favorites. Breathing. Also, stuff like scuba diving, too. Boyle's Law um, relates two things, pressure and volume. So how does that work, then, when you breathe? Well, when you breathe, you expand the volume of your lungs. When you expand the volume of your lungs, the pressure inside your lungs drops. When the pressure inside your lungs drops below atmospheric pressure, the atmosphere is forced and rushes into your lungs and it fills your lungs. Conversely, when you exhale, the volume of your lungs gets smaller. As the volume gets smaller, the pressure increases. As the pressure inside your lungs becomes greater than the atmospheric pressure, the air is forced out of your lungs. So pressure and volume, that's Boyle's Law. The volume and pressure of a gas are blank related. Well, we just learned that when volume goes up, pressure goes down. And that type of relationship, when one thing goes up and the other thing goes down, that's called inverse. So pressure and volume are inversely related. Of course, assuming moles and temperature stay the same. So what would a graph of volume and pressure look like if one thing goes up and the other thing goes down? It would look something like this. It's called the hyperbola. The relationship is inverse. What about if we flipped the axes and instead of pressure and volume, we did volume and pressure? Well, it turns out the graph looks the same. Okay, let's, let's do a kinetic molecular theory description of Boyle's Law. So this is the volume of our container. Here are some gas molecules inside. You can see they're moving in constant, random, straight line motion, and they're colliding with the walls of the container. And when they collide with the walls of the container, what do they do? That's right, they exert pressure. All right, so this will serve as our initial conditions. Now, what's going to happen in the final conditions when we've decreased the volume of the container? Well, you can see, by decreasing the volume of the container, we actually get additional collisions. There's just simply less area for these molecules to move around in, and they, they collide into stuff more often. And you know that collisions create pressure. So as volume goes down, pressure goes up. That is Boyle's Law. And of course, there's an equation for Boyle's Law. It looks like this. These are the initial pressure and volume, and this is the final pressure and volume. It doesn't matter what units pressure are in, as long as the units are the same. Similarly, it doesn't matter what the units are for volume. It could be milliliters, it could be liters, it doesn't matter as long as they're the same. So make sure you write this down. We'll be using this quite a bit. So this is Boyle's Law.